All right, good day, everybody. God bless each and every one of you. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Getting our rain for this day. I got a few things I want to read this morning, you guys. Uh, I'll probably come on live if the weather lets us. Uh, <laughs> you know, you, you got... <laughs> reading these scriptures, you know, when you read them and you hear them, you know, it's like the world, how it really does blind people, you know, where Jesus was saying, the world hateth me, because I tell it, its ways are evil, you know, and when God says, if you love this world, you're the enemy of God, you know, and uh, people are blind to this, the world hateth me. And it says, if they didn't hear me, they're not going to hear you. But yet, everybody in the world, just they got the love of the world, the love of... They were raised this way. Prosperity gospel. That's what it's all about. You know? They've taken the grace of God. Jesus Christ. They've taken that. And they used it for a, like a cloak. You know, like, oh, isn't it beautiful? We can do all this. And, you know... All underneath the blood of Christ. It's not supposed to be that way. Not at all. Now that we've had our eyes open, for those who have eyes to see, those who have ears to hear, <coughs> and we try to share with people, I'm talking about churches in the pulpit, people in the pews, and we clearly see why. They're blind. Why they're in darkness. You know, and Jesus said, I came to give sight to the blind and take sight from those who say they see so their sin remains because they say they see. Yeah. Anyhow, here we go. Isaiah 54, verse 5. For thy maker is thy husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and the Redeemer of the Holy One of Israel, the God of the whole earth, shall he be called. God of the whole earth. Psalms 45, verse 5, 6, and 7. Thy arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies, whereby the people fall under thee. Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. Thy scepter of the kingdom is a right scepter. Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore, God, thy God, has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. All thy garments smell of myrrh and alloys. And, and Cassia out of the ivory pl palaces whereby they have made thee glad king's daughters were among the honorable women upon thy right hand did stand the queen in gold of Oprah hearken O daughter and consider and incline thy ear forget also thy own people and thy father's house so shall the king greatly desire thy beauty, for he is the Lord, and worship thou him. And the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat thy favor. The king's daughter is all glorious within. Her clothing is of wrought gold. She shall be brought unto the king in remnant of needlework. Her virgins, her companions that follow her shall be brought unto thee. With gladness and rejoicing shall they be brought. They shall enter into the king's palace. Instead of thy fathers shall be thy children whom thou mayest make princess in all the earth. I will make thy name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore shall thy people praise thee forever and ever. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 14 and 15. 
Return, O backslidden children, says the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you, one of a city, two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion, and I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. The world won't give you this, man. It won't. It'll just send you further into darkness, man. Satan knows Satan. He's got, look at, you see the whole world. Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 8. Now when I passed by thee and looked upon thee, behold, thy time was the time of love. And I spread my skirt over thee and covered thy nakedness. Yeah, I swore unto thee and entered into a covenant with thee, says the Lord God, and thou becamest mine. That makes me think of uh, uh, when uh, Ruth went up to Boaz on the threshing floor, okay? And she said, spread thy skirt over me. Yeah, and he did. And then he goes, it's true, I am a near kinsman, but there's one closer, you know? And then he said, um, if he won't perform it, he would as the Lord liveth, you know? And he gave her six measures of barley to go take home. Hosea 2.19 And I will betroth thee unto me forever. Yeah, I will betroth thee unto my into me in righteousness and in judgment, loving kindness and in mercies. I will even betroth thee unto me in faithfulness, and thou shalt know the Lord. John 3.29 and 30 He that has the bride is the bridegroom. But the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, he rejoiceth greatly, because the bridegroom's voice. This my joy, therefore, is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. You see what I'm saying? Even in this world, you guys, we have to be you know, seeing what this place really is. Yeah, you know, We have to die to it. We have to die to it in all aspects of it. I can't tell you how many people come against me like that. You know, going, oh, you don't know. You don't have kids. You don't know. You don't have, you know, because they tell me their love for them over the Lord. Not discerning between, you know, do they have the spirit of God or the spirit of the world? You know, because they may have raised them to be very worldly as they were, or they could be. There's a lot of deception out there. People come around you portraying to be, but yet they're cleaving to, you know, like I said, you guys, Scripture gives me all the understanding I need, the truth. Where the Scripture says, they will deliver you up to have you put to death. And who are they? They are the ones that you chose over the Lord, that you put first before the Lord thy God. You know? God's the one that made them, you know? You had the responsibility of raising them according to thy word. And most, everybody never did it. You know, everybody's been deceived for many, many generations. This is when you choose who it is that you're going to serve if you had your eyes open. There's going to be a lot of things happening different ways, even as we get near. Because he gives, the time's not up yet. You know, the second wave coming around with the venom, the second wave. Um, so maybe some people are going to go I, I, I'm not doing no more I've had enough of it you know, maybe some will come out of it they probably will some you know? and then you know, it's reverse psychology you know? oh this won't stop you from catching it it'll stop you from spreading it in other words if you caught it it's because of those that ain't doing it it's reverse psychology is what it is and it's all lies well, they put the venom in you, you know? Reverse psychology, man. Just like when Obama came in and said, billions of people are going to die for disinformation. They're the ones given the disinformation. And billions of people will die because they're of what's happening. And they're going to continue following it because they believe the lies. God said, because you didn't believe the truth, you know, 
And it, listen to it. It tells you clearly. You know, because you say you see. Look at how wicked it is. You say you see. Yeah. Therefore, your sin remains. Because these people are okay with this. They love this current place. All right. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 2 and 3. For I am a jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband that I may present you as a chastised virgin to Christ. But I fear lest by any means as that serpent beguiled Eve through subtility so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25, 6 and 7. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and he gave himself for it that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word that he might present it to himself a glorious church not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing but that it should be holy and without blemish for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Guys, no matter what, this is how it comes down to. We, we're being separated. And he said he's bringing a sword to divide us. You'll know if they're of Christ or not. If they're not, you know, and uh, then you know what you're attached to. Just like your children, if they're not, you know, they don't want to hear it, then you should know, you know. Not that many are going to make it out of this, guys. It's just what it comes down to. God has from the beginning. He created this from the beginning, from the foundations of the world. It's just all playing out right now. You know, like it says, don't deceive yourself. Isaiah 48, chapter 3. I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth, and I showed them. I did them suddenly, and they came to pass. All these things are, everything is. Isaiah 51, verse 15 and 16. But I am the Lord thy God, that divided the sea, whose waves roared. The Lord of hosts is his name, and I have put my words in thy mouth, and I have covered thee in the shadow of my hand, that I may plant the heavens and lay the foundations of the earth and say unto Zion, thou art my people. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Zechariah uh, chapter 14 verse 9 And the Lord shall be king over all the earth In that day shall there be one Lord and his name one Romans chapter 3 verse 29, 30 and 31 Is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also seeing it is one God which shall justify the circumcision by faith and the uncircumcision through faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid. We establish it. If it wasn't for it, we wouldn't even know what sin was, you know, and the truth. No, people aren't following it at all. At all. Look at the world's in darkness, man, big time. Revelations eleven fifteen, And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdom of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. Amen. All right, you guys. I hope and pray everybody out there you get something from this, you know. The living word of God. It's a living word. So 
I hope and pray you guys really do receive something from any of this, you know. Stay strong in the Lord. Be at peace. And uh, <laughs> just know this has all been done from the beginning. Everything that we're seeing, you know. I can see things a lot clearer now. Everything. All things. Everything. You know, whether I, whatever I do, wherever I go, I see it. You know, I see it. I can see those that have the spirit of God, and I'm seeing it more and more. So everything's coming abroad, you know, unless you're of this world. If you're of this world, I can see it. I see it. You know, there ain't nothing we got to be afraid of here. Nothing. I don't even, like I said, need a gun for what? It's coming out of the world, man. They're the ones that are going to have a gun. They're the ones that won't enter the kingdom of heaven when they start shooting people because they're going to be a part of it. You know, we're told to come out of it. Be separate. You know, God bless you guys. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.